welcome back to a new vlog i'm just getting ready at the moment you might be like ella aren't you wearing the same thing but in another color yes i am i just got some new active wear from my protein so cute i wore the blue set this morning and i've just got changed into this khaki one a fresh set that's not a sweaty but i wanted to wear some active wear because i'm actually heading back to the gym in like an hour or so because I'm shooting some content there, but I'm not going to my usual gym. I'm actually going to my friend Jess's gym. So you guys know my friend Jess. And if you didn't know, she's a PT and her and I are currently working on something really exciting together. So that's what we're shooting for this afternoon. And I wanted to get some like behind the scenes of what we get up to. You know what? I think I'm just gonna tell you guys what the thing is that we're working on, but I'll do it when I'm with Jess. So yeah, we'll have a little chat a little bit later. So today's Friday and Friday is usually the day that Jess and I try and put aside to work on this project together. So that's what we're doing. But yeah, I thought I could do like a little vlog over the next few days. I guess it's gonna be like a little weekend vlog because I'll continue filming tomorrow. And tomorrow is gonna be fun because I'm actually going to an event. I'm going to the launch of a new strong Pilates studio. They've got a new studio opening in Alexandria. So I'm gonna bring Brayden along and he's gonna try Reformer for the first time, which I'm really excited about because he's never done it before. And I just love strong, so I'm excited to go in general. So I guess the theme of this vlog is gonna be fitness because it has become a bigger part of my life over the past year or two. I used to have so much anxiety towards the gym and I kind of just resented fitness to be honest because I didn't enjoy it. But over the last year or two, I've completely changed my mindset and it's a big part of my life now and I thoroughly enjoy it. I think a big thing that helped was moving to a gym that I felt comfortable at. And then also following a program has been really helpful. So my friend Jess has written me up a program. I've just started a new one and that's been so, so good because I know exactly what I need to do every single day that I go to the gym. I also think this program has been really helpful for me because it's just like allowed me to try new things and not get bored because each program goes for six week blocks. So I know that like afterwards I'm gonna have a progression or like the exercises are gonna change. So that's really good because I found that I was getting like quite bored before when I was just writing up my own sessions. So yes, I feel like I'm in a really good, happy training routine at the moment, but I totally remember what it felt like to not enjoy my training and to have a lot of anxiety around the gym. So Jess and I are working on something to help people and assist them with the gym, I guess. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of accountability and you just need someone to tell you what to do. That's simply it. I feel like that helps a lot. All right, before I head back to the gym, I'm gonna make myself a quick little drink. I look forward to this every single day. I absolutely love the taste of these BCAAs. I just wanna make sure I keep hydrated today since I am moving around quite a lot. So I'll just have two scoops of this. I like having my creatine with my BCAAs. I just mix it all together. That way I don't forget to have it. This is the creatine I take. It's the creatine monohydrate. So you guys know that my supplements are from my protein. Absolutely love them. They currently have their afterpay sale going on at the moment, by the way. So if you guys are wanting to restock on any supplements or anything, now could be a good time since they do have a big sale going on. I'll leave a link down below to their website and then I'll link some of my favorite products as well but I'm sure you'll see me using probably more of their products throughout this video and I'm sure you've seen me use them many times in other vlogs so what I do next is I literally just take this handheld mixer I love this thing so much I feel like it's always a game of just like trying to make sure it doesn't overflow but yeah it just mixes everything in so nicely and then this is how it looks my BCAA is a blue raspberry flavor and it literally tastes like cordial. It's so refreshing. That's why I look forward to it every single day. I do have a discount code for my protein that you guys can use. It's just Ella MP and I believe it gets you 40% off if you're from Australia and 35% off if you're from New Zealand. Anyway, go check them out. I also actually have some active wear on right now from my protein. So they don't just do supplements. They also do some really cute active wear. So yeah, check them out. I'll leave a link down below. I'm going to head to the gym now and I'll check in with you guys a bit. Oh my gosh, have I done the face yet? Not yet, but there's less mirrors in here to worry about. You don't have to even know, only I know. <laughs> now you feel my pain. <laughs> that was so high. <laughs> Other side. Do you want a banded chin up or do you want a lowering chin up? Banded chin up. Cool. Um, what band? You probably got up to about a purple. I've set the goal to do what was it? 10? Wait, 10 chin-ups of one band, yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't say what color band. Yeah, though. I feel like we need. We definitely need to that was that. probably something I needed to establish. In Let's my goals. go with the purple band. It's really not that much help. <laughs> You're doing good. Full stretch, big pull. Nice. That four. Three. Oh. Four. <laughs> Five. You got it. Big pull. Nice. You're getting pretty close to this goal. Six. Pull, 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 pull. You got it. Pull. Nice. Oh. <laughs> We're well done. That. 100 percent We've just filmed a little TikTok or reel. I don't know. Probably both actually. I'm so excited to edit that. I've been seeing everyone do these like little mic'd up workouts and Jess recently got these mics. They're so, so good. Comes with like a pack of two. I think I need to get some because I feel like they're just a game changer for content because it means you could just like do anything really and just record yourself. Jess, I said that I was gonna announce what we're working on together, but I was like, I'll wait till I'm with you. That's so exciting. So do you want to, do you want to announce it now? Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to be releasing a program and you guys can join which is so exciting so, so excited oh my gosh we have been putting so much work into this already and just like we've just been having so many ideas and having so much fun brainstorming and I feel like we keep getting so ahead of ourselves we're like we could do this and this and this and we're like wait okay we need to slow yeah. down yeah. It's been a long time coming. We're very excited and we're working very hard behind we the are. scenes. We are. We'll tell you more about it in the future. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how much to say right now, but that is what we're working on today. And we don't necessarily have like a date set just yet because we've been like... We kept setting <laughs> dates and then getting overwhelmed and then setting new dates. Yeah. So we've been wanting we'll, it to we'll be perfect. We'll set a date soon. We're, we're getting there now. It's yes. all coming together. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to say any more. I'm not going to say <laughs> we'll any more. We'll give you more specifics soon. Yeah. <laughs> Brayden. I feel like this vlog is just a workout vlog because we are doing a strong Pilates workout today, which is going to be so, so fun. It's your first time. It is. How are you feeling? Good. Good? I'm always good. Yeah. <laughs> Brayden's honestly very fit and like he does jujitsu and stuff, but when it comes to Pilates, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you'll find it. It's humbling. Let oh, me tell you that. That's insulting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to insult you, but I'm just saying. I'm insulted. It's, it's quite a humbling experience, so I'm excited for you to actually experience it. Maybe I'll humble you. Maybe you will. Look, you were a gymnast growing up as well, so I feel like you've got a bit of flexibility and stuff. I am as stiff as anything, honestly. But I haven't updated you on yesterday, so the shoot went really, really well. I showed Brayden all of the clips yesterday. Yeah. You're quite impressed, hey? Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. good. There's heaps of content. Yeah. Yep, heaps. So I'll have to spend some time editing that. But yeah, first shoot done. We've got like one more to do and then we've got like all of the contents. So very happy and hopefully I won't be too sore today when we do our Pilates session. But I'm excited. If you didn't know as well, Strong's like a mixture of reformer Pilates, weights and also rowing. So there's like a rowing machine. It's like an all-in-one machine. So it's pretty unique. But yeah, we're trying out a new one in Alexandria that's just opened. So we should probably go try and find it just to make sure yeah. we've come to the right place. And we're in enough time. Yeah. For a few hours now i've just been doing like a bit of editing and relaxing i'm honestly quite tired i think doing like two workouts yesterday and then pilates today has taken it out of me i definitely don't usually 
do that much but it's been fun i'm just quite exhausted anyway i've decided that i want to do some baking now because i just need to do something about these bananas brayden keeps asking me like what i'm going to do about them and i know i could put them in the bin but that just seems like a waste and whenever this happens i'm like okay it's time for banana bread so i thought that instead of doing like the normal usual banana bread i'd change it up and do salted caramel protein and biscoff banana bread i just feel like that combination sounds really good and i've got this protein powder that's flavored salted caramel so i was like could be a good opportunity to use that so i'm gonna see how i go i'm gonna film a tiktok and hopefully it works out and tastes really good but i feel like anything with biscoff tastes pretty good so i'll update you on how i go if your bananas look like this don't throw them out make some banana bread i made some salted caramel protein and biscoff banana bread so starting off you want to combine the dry ingredients which is two cups of powdered oats half a cup of protein powder i use this salted caramel flavor from my protein then you're going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of cinnamon and mix all of your dry ingredients together for the wet ingredients you're going to mash three ripe bananas is the riper the better and then you're going to crack two eggs and give them a whisk now combine the eggs and the banana together add one fourth of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup a third of a cup of milk i use oat milk i then use a square of the my protein flavor drops in the flavor vanilla you can use vanilla essence if you don't have this but i just love the flavor so then i just mixed the wet and the dry ingredients together and folded in some chocolate chips this batter tasted insane. Then you just want to pour your batter into a lined tin, smooth it all out, and then I drizzled two tablespoons of Biscoff spread on top, which just perfected it. And I also added a few more chocolate chips on top as well, which I feel like really finished it off. Guys, I'm just about to put the banana bread in the oven. How good does this look? This is drizzled Biscoff on top with chocolate chips. It's gonna taste amazing. So I think I'm just gonna pop it in at 180 degrees Celsius and I'm gonna bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'll just keep checking on it, but I'm so excited to try this. I've been filming a little TikTok of me making this, so I will have included that footage just before, but I will write the recipe down below in the description box if you're interested. It's done. I would say this is an absolute masterpiece, if I do say so myself. It's got chocolate chips in it, Biscoff. So, so good. And the texture feels perfect. I'm really excited to try this. Do you want to have one? Me too. Do you want to try it with me? It's good. Mm -hmm. So nice and nice. Oh my god. Like the chocolate's melted. It's very thin, very light. Mm-hmm. Well, it's got high protein in it. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Sunday. We're just heading for our grocery shop this week. So I thought I'd bring you along. First time not having HelloFresh in like a month and it feels really weird having to like plan out dinners and stuff. I mm. feel a little bit lost, honestly. I'm like, well, what do we get? Yeah, I mean I, I kind of want to go back to HelloFresh already. We'll see. All right, time for a bit of a grocery haul. All of this came to $193. I'll talk you through the dinners that we're going to have this week, and then I'll like show you the stuff we got. So with all of that food, we can probably make about six different types of dinners, and we'll have plenty of leftovers, so that will be great for lunch. If not, for lunch, usually Brayden and I like to have salmon with soba noodles and some veggies. We make like a little nourish bowl, kind of like... A little salmon bowl in a way and it's so nice we just chuck everything in the oven we find that a really easy lunch just because we can chuck the frozen salmon in the oven chuck the veggies in the microwave pop the soba noodles in some boiling water for a couple of minutes and then like you can kind of just leave it it does its thing and then you've got a lunch which doesn't take much effort anyway the recipes that we decided on for this week is first of all spag bowl can't go wrong then we're gonna have a beef and black bean stir fry chicken pad thai, egg roll in a bowl, which is one of my favorites, and then just like chicken tenders with mash and veggies, which is another really easy dinner. So with that being said, I'll show you the stuff that we picked up. So we'll start off over here. For our spag bowl, I got some kangaroo mints, which I've never tried before, but I wanted to give them a go. This is the frozen salmon that we get. We absolutely love having this for lunch, like I said before, but sometimes as well, if we do end up like having dinner at home and we've run out of everything, then like we've got this there and we could just have salmon with rice and maybe some frozen veggies and it's just like an easy dinner. Then we've got, this is like the meat section. We've got some beef strips for our beef and black bean stir fry. 
some turkey mince for the egg roll in a bowl, some chicken breast for the pad thai. We've got a big bag of carrots, which I'm gonna chop up because I wanna have like a bunch of carrots meal prepped in the fridge because I just feel like Brayden especially is notorious for like snacking. Like not that there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like he just does it because he's bored and I feel like having something that's like maybe healthier than just biscuits to snack on might be good. So I'm gonna chop up some carrots and then we can both snack on them. We've got some blueberries, we've got some capsicums for the beef and black bean, some pad thai sauce, beef and black bean sauce, some black beans here, we have some bolognese sauce, two white onions, two white potatoes, peanut butter, biscoff, milk, almond milk, cabbage, bananas. I also got some frozen bananas for my smoothies. Got some chicken tenders. This is like a frozen meal that Brayden's gonna take to work with him. I then got some edamame beans, which I'm really excited to try. These are just frozen. And I thought that I could like microwave these up and pop them in like our nourish bowls and stuff for lunch. I thought they'd be quite like nice to add into that. And we've got some individual microwavable packets of veggies, a big pack of stir fry veggies, some bread, and some eggs and that's it. So yeah, that's everything that we got for this week. It'll probably last just a while. I know that we're eating out for dinner tonight and then also tomorrow night. So tonight we're actually going out for dinner for Brayden's sister's birthday. We're going to an Italian place in Woolloomooloo, which will be really nice. And then tomorrow I have my American accent course that I'm doing and that's in the city and Jesse and I get the train there and I always just like get like a quick little wrap or something from Woolworths for dinner. So I won't like eat at home tomorrow. So yeah, I guess, I guess we'll start cooking on Tuesday. <laughs> Why don't you have Brayden cake? Oh, it's a video. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday. 